So I have a new song I want you to learn. And like my other beginner guitar song challenges, the chords aren't going to be on the screen. The chord progression is not going to be on the screen either. And there are going to be no close-ups of my fretting hand or my strumming hand. It's just you and me in this room together, learning a new song together, just like we used to do in the old days. So I hope you've got pen and some paper to get down the chords as I tell you. And if you guess the song that we're working on today, let me know down below in the comments. So listen, are you ready for this guitar challenge? Then let's go. All right, first things first, let's tune up together because we need to tune up. Um, so here's the low E string for you. Here's the A. Here's the D. Here's the G. Here's the B. And finally the high E. All right, so this song, um, it's kind of got a pretty typical um, organization. You've got an intro, you've got a couple of verses, you've got chorus, you've got a solo part and uh, an outro part. But the great thing about this is that the outro, the solo and the intro are pretty much the same. It's about 95% the same. So let's start off with that. And um, then we'll have a look at the, the verses and the choruses. And so the chords that you're going to need for the, ver uh, the intro, sorry, and the outro and the solo are just E minor, G and A. Now, these, these are the way I play it with these two fingers, fourth, third and second, and second, third and fourth for the A. That's how I play it. Doesn't matter how you play it, play it any way that's most comfortable for you. Uh, so, the intro, I'm gonna play it through and uh, have a listen. I'll shout out the chords as I, as I change. So one, two, three. E minor, G, E minor, G, E minor again, A, E minor, A, G, Again. So that's that's kind of like the introduction and the solo and the outro. But in the intro, we do that progression. So we've got E minor for a bar, and then G for a bar, then E minor again for a bar, and then another G, another E minor and then A, followed by E minor, A, and then we have two bars of G, right? That's the first time round that we play the intro. But the second time round, at the end, there's only one bar of G before we go into the verse, right? There's only one bar. So first time round, there are two bars of G at the end, and the second time round, just one bar of G. So let's 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 try this together. We'll do it pretty slowly. Uh, I'll call out the chords together. And as for strumming, you know, it, it's 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 pretty loose. Okay, you don't need to, um, you know, worry too much about uh, a really kind of rigid strumming pattern. But of course, if if the if you're finding the you know doing this doing something loose like that, and getting the chord changes right, then just do down strums, right? Just, just do simply, just do this. There's nothing wrong with this. Right? I mean, that's, that's how I started back in 1986. 
So, you know, don't worry too much about the strumming. We're gonna just try and get the, the chords right and just the order of the song, really. So, here we go with the E intro. Ready, I'm gonna call out the chords. First chord is E minor. One, two, three, four. G. E minor. G. E minor. A. E minor. A. Now two bars of G. Two, three, four. One, two, E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. Go to the A. Back to E minor. Another A. And then just one bar of G. That's the intro. And basically also the solo and the, the outro as well, which uh, takes care of three things in one. So let's have another go around it. All right, are you ready? One, two, three, four. E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. A. minor A G and again G E minor G E minor E minor A E minor A And then one bar of G And now it's time for the verse Now the verse The verse has a few more chords It's got G It's got C it's got D, it's got e, A minor and E minor. <clears throat> so we've got G, C, D, A minor and um, E minor. So five chords there. And the great thing about it, these are all really beautiful open chords. So even if you are strumming just one down strum per bar, you know, these chords are gonna ring out and sound really great. So let's put these, this, this verse together, okay? So let's try the first few bars. So I'm gonna play through it actually. I'm gonna play through this and shout out the chords. So have a listen, get it down on paper at the same time. And again, the chords is just like one bar for a chord, uh, which, is, which is really good as well. It makes it kind of simpler because you know it's gonna change after each bar. So one, two, three, four, C, D, A minor, G, D, C, A minor, G, C, D, A minor, G, 
the verse in fact that's actually two verses and it'll go from there it'll go into a, a bit of a solo but let's come back and have a look at the chords so let's go through this slowly again so what we're going to do we start off with a C so one bar of C C one bar of that then it goes to D and then it goes to A minor to G D, C, A minor, and then a G. So that's actually one verse and which gets repeated. So it seems like there's quite a lot going there, but each, each bar is one chord. So let's have another go through it again, yeah? So here we go, so C, one, Two, three, four. C, two, three. D, two, three. A minor, two, three. G, two, three. D, two, three. C, two, three. A minor, two, three. G. Two, and again, C, two, three, D, two, three, A minor, two, three, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, C, two, three, A minor, two, three, G. Three, four, and it's quite a nice little chord progression, and it's really cool because I think it practices some of the best open chords there: G, C, D minor, A minor, E. Absolutely beautiful. And so you know, when we play, let's play this together. And you know, as you're playing it, if you're finding those chord changes a touch difficult, then just do it like I did it now. Just one strum per bar to give you enough time to listen to the, the, the next chord and to get from, the neck, from one chord to another. If you're feeling a bit more confident, four strums in a bar. And if you're feeling really confident about this, then just try and get a nice flowing rhythm, okay? Right, here we go. We're going to try verses one and verse two of this song. If you've got any idea what the song is, then let me know down below in the comments, just under the like button. Right, here we go. One, two, three, C. D. A minor. G. A minor, G, verse 2, D. No, that was me making a mistake there. Verse 2 kicks off with C. One, two, three, four. D. A minor. As I said, it goes back into the um, the kind of the intro part for the solo, 
and um, that's a, a, a lovely acoustic guitar solo. You know, I, I'm sure you've worked this out. It's a, such a great, it's such a classic song with a really great little kind of chord progression, I think. Okay, now let's talk about the chorus. Right, let's check out the chorus. Now, while the, the verses are longer than the chorus, the chords and the chord progression for the chorus and the verses are pretty much the same, all right? Uh, we're still using the same chords, G, D, C, and A minor, uh, and E minor for this. So let's, let's have a go at this. And so after the solo, which uses those intro chords, all right, it goes into C. One, two, three, C. And then we've got a D. A minor, G, D, C, A minor, G, and then it does the intro outro. Uh, solo chords. Right, so let's have a go at, again, just this chorus. All right, so one, two, three, C. D. A minor. G. D. C, A minor, G, E minor, G, so we're kind of going into the outro, E minor, G, E minor, A, E minor, A, E minor, actually I don't think it's E minor again, I think it's G, but okay, I made a few mistakes there, but you know, we're all, we're all human. So let's have a go at putting the whole thing together. Let's do a, an intro, the two verses, a solo, um, the chorus, and then the outro. Okay, so intro, verse, verse, solo. Remember the solo is pretty much the same as the intro. Uh, after the solo, we go into the chorus, which is, again, is very much the same as the, the verses, isn't it? And then after that chorus, we do an outro, which is, as I said before, it's the intro, it's the solo. So, are you ready? So again, I'm gonna, I'll hum my way through it as well. This time, I'm not gonna call out the chords. Okay, so hopefully you've got them all written down on a piece of paper. Right, let's have a go. So, intro, verse one, verse two, solo, chorus, outro. And as I said before, I hope you've got the chords written down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Guitar's falling down. Okay, sorry, hang on a sec, here we go again. One, two, three, four.
so, so you think you can tell Heaven from hell, blue skies from pain and Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail A smile from a veil Now if you want a copy of the chord progression and the chords for this song, there's a link down below in the description just under the subscribe button. And if you want more song practice, then click this link here. Thanks for joining me today. Happy strumming.